Hey guys, welcome back to React.js Spring Boot Crude Full Stack Application Tutorial Series. In this video, let's create a React application. Let's begin by setting up our development environment for React. We need to have two things installed. Node and text editor of your choice. For Node, go to the official website of Node.js and you can download the latest release of Node.js and you can install on your machine. If you have already installed Node.js, then make sure that you have upgraded to the latest release of Node.js. For text editor, I recommend you to use VS Code IDE. Alright. To get started, I have created a folder called React Spring Boot Crude App. In this folder, we are going to create React application. Now, to create a new React application, we are going to make use of create React App command line tool. Go to the browser and just search for create a React App and hit enter and choose the second link. Create React App is a command line tool that we can use to quickly create a React application with no configuration. Alright. What that means is you simply run few commands and the entire React project is created for you. Let's see how to do it. So look at here these are the commands we are going to use to quickly create and run React application. So go back in a VS Code ID and open integrated terminal and run the command npx create hyphen react hyphen app and followed by name of the project. Let's call project name as react frontend. Alright, you can also refer this command from the official GitHub uh, website. So look at here, you can refer these commands over here. Okay, great. Once you enter the command, hit enter. So this will create a React application. Let's wait for a moment. It will take few seconds to create and set up a React application. Once the command completes, you can able to see a new folder is created here react frontend to run newly created react application you first need to navigate to the project folder just type cd react hyphen frontend hit enter also you can refer the commands over here okay now just type the command npm start to start the react application so look at here the command open a browser with the url localhost 3000 and our react application is running on port 3000 so let me copy this url and let me open in a chrome browser just close this browser and open chrome browser in a new tab just enter the url localhost 3000 yeah here we go so we have successfully created a react application and we have started react application and now the react application is running on local development server on port 3000 now let's quickly change app.js file to some text like hello world and we'll see how the changes will get reflected on a page in a react application go back to the vs id expand react frontend folder expand src folder and go to the app.js file here what we'll do we'll simply remove this code and here just give h1 tag with some text hello world 
save the file so look at here the development server will automatically refresh the browser and you can able to see hello world text on a page all right guys we have successfully created our react application now we are good to go with our actual development before that let's quickly have a folder structure of our newly created react application in the react application at a root level you can see three folders and four files let's begin with package.json file so look at here package.json contains a dependencies and scripts required for the projects you can see here the react dependency is specified in package.json with its version okay and similarly react dom and react scripts and here are the few scripts to run the react application to build the react application and to test the react application all right so these are the dependencies and scripts that we configure in package.json and you can able to see here readme file so it contains the commands and the necessary stuff required to create and run a react application let's take a look at the folder we have node underscore modules folder so inside this folder all the dependencies are installed so basically this folder will get created whenever you create a react app using create react app command line tool or when you run npm install command okay so look at here you can see a lot of javascript libraries installed in this under this folder and we have public folder within the public folder we have few files favicon so this is not specific to react and manifest.json so this is the file which is related to progressive progressive web app so we are not with this file is out of scope of this project so we have index.html file index.html file is the only file you are going to have in your application as we are building single page application so we have only one html file and all the uh, code will dynamically will update and inside this div so look at here this is the div with id equals to root so all the react components will dynamically get uh, updated inside this div tag okay so most of the time we are not going to change this file sometime we might change the header but we definitely don't change a body section all right so this is very important file so as we are building single page application we should have only one html file and we will dynamically update the div tag here okay great now let's expand src folder under the src folder we can see app.js file so this is our root component so this is basically a react functional component and inside this component we we can see a jsx code so jsx is basically a javascript xml like code which is just an extension of javascript language syntax and jsx is basically uh, looks like a xml code that uh, react team has recommended to use in a react applications so jsx no, is not a necessity to create a react applications but uh, you know react team has recommended to use jsx because jsx makes a react code very simpler and elegant and neat so for this reason we can use a jsx in our application all right guys so app component is our root component and uh, so look at here this is index.js file so the control flow like whenever we deploy our application and we use localhost 3000 in a browser then first html index.html will get served and after that index.js file will get executed and inside index.js file we can see here 
react dom so and render method so we are passing f component to render method of react dom and this component will get rendered inside the dom element which has id root so look at here this id we have specified in index.html so look at here this is the div with id or root and inside this div the uh, react dom will basically render f component all right all right guys i hope we understood the flow thank you guys for watching feel free to subscribe my youtube channel i will see you guys in the next video